The Makeathon is a medical device design competition in which competing undergraduate student teams were presented with a NASA inspired challenge and a limited amount of time and resources to complete the challenge. The teams were composed of four to five members of both underclassmen and upperclassmen so that all age groups had a chance to compete. The NASA inspired challenge was to find a solution to treat the incidence of musculoskeletal injuries on a long term space flight. Overall, I've been so impressed by how the teams have worked well together. So not only have they come up with their own de designs, but even in fabrication, they had to work around the constraints of others. So when other teams had to 3D print, we had a limited amount of 3D printers, a limited amount of tooling. So watching the teams work together, even though they're competing against each other, they're still all in it together. So as a freshman, I've never been on a medical device team or like really had to make anything. So I was definitely coming into this not knowing what to expect. and. So I was a little bit like unsure of what to do and I've never like made anything on a CAD. We overcame that because I was working in a team with four other people and they're all sophomores and juniors so they had a little more experience than I did but like through our brainstorming process and everything we kind of like filled in each other's gaps so we figured out what to do like when one of us didn't know what to do someone else had an idea and then it just kind of like went together really well and eventually we like talking to Talking to the mentors was also a huge help because obviously a lot of them have so much more experience than we do and because of that um, they gave us so much good advice and helped us like really flesh out our plan. Okay, so this isn't, this isn't the whole thing but basically we have our idea is a sleeve that you put on and then you have inserts like this one and basically if you do hurt something you put on these inserts and then we have this material that we also made that you put over that which accounts for the torsion effect. So we have limited materials as you can see here <laughs> so it's kind of hard to figure out how to incorporate all those materials into our original design and what we want to do. It's kind of hard but we figured it out and we're having a little bit of time problems but hopefully we'll figure it out. I think the best teams were really the ones that were willing to take some extra time at the beginning of the competition to really make sure they had considered a lot of different options and that they had considered everybody's ideas and that they had really thought about what else is out there instead of some of the teams that I think struggled a little bit more focused, they came up with one idea and then they dove in and really started figuring out all the technical details for that one idea and then they maybe spent a little bit too much time on it before they realized that they wanted to switch to something else. So my favorite part about this competition so far has been seeing the teams overcome challenges that they've been facing. So last night, all of our teams that made it to the fabrication round were working throughout the evening um, trying to fabricate their designs and they met a lot of roadblocks along the way. Some of the equipment wasn't functioning as well as we thought it was going to be. Um, they had to change a lot of the materials that they were going to be using. But they worked through every problem and they failed multiple times, but they kept working and now when we came back this morning, they have very physical uh, devices that we can see and they basically overcame everything that was in their way, which is really what engineering is all about. So I think um, every, it, it's a lesson in and of itself that fabrication is, you know, it's not just having the idea and oh, I'll make it here. It's really a process of a lot of failures and just keeping with the energy and keep going and iterating and coming up with new ways that you can make the same design. And that is something that has definitely been demonstrated here today. 